No fresh food, no fresh produce. That's why the area is called a food desert. And soon, relief will be on the way. We're talking in the spring. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Darlene Hill. I'm Mark Taylor. North Linden is getting a grocery store after about a year without one. And that's not all. As our Sean Lanier reports, owners say this store offers something a little different. I'm interested in something different as well as still having my chicken and my pork chops. It's a store that looks to fill the void Kroger left a year ago. When people in the community say they're happy. My thoughts are welcome. It's better to have some type of a grocery store than none. Kroger's is gone. We can't go back. We know we're not going to get another one. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in and see what they got. Yep. Sarah Guy International Marketplace carries food from all over the world. Veronica Anderson is helping stock the place with food she recognizes. Uh, Mops and Top Secret and Hershey's. And some new things as well. And watermelon seeds, that's different. I've never had none of that. She's lived in this area and has been for nearly 20 years and says it feels good to have a store right in her backyard again. It's a relief where I don't have to worry about uh, getting a ride, getting to where I need to go to get what I want. So I'm still in walking distance. They could find all they need at one spot, one shopping center. President of Saragot John Sung says community comes first. He feels he saw a need for an affordable grocery store in this area and hopes it can be much more. Hopefully it's one uh, place for everybody. They hope to have this store open this May. Looking for you in Northern Light, Sean Lanier, NBC4.